what's up guys? So today we're gonna be doing a different type of video. We're actually, I'm gonna actually teach you guys how to drive stick shift. So many of you guys don't know how to drive, many do, but it's just gonna be the basics. So with the stick shift car, you get a shift knob, which represents, which shows R for reverse, first gear, second gear, third gear, fourth gear, fifth gear, and sixth, which is your overdrive. Sixth gear you'll be using when you're on the highway. First gear you'll be using when you're like going from zero to five, and then you want to shift to second, of course. And then reverse is, well, basically reverse. There's no P. So when you're trying to park your car, you have this. You're actually going to use this as your, this is your e-brake. Just go like that, and just go like that, and your car is parked. But make sure you always put it in uh, first gear when you park the car, and then you're set. So, I'm going to show you guys something different that stick shift cars actually have than automatic cars. Uh, with the automatic car, you only have two pedals. And with the stick shift, you have three. That's your gas pedal, your brake, and your clutch. When you get into an automatic car, you just hit the brakes and you press your start button or whatever. Well, with the stick shift car, you you have to you have to press in the clutch all the way in. And if your car is in first gear, you put it in neutral. Make sure your e-brakes up, and then you click your start button. The car turns on. Make sure you're holding the brake just in case. If you're on a hill or, if, or anything, your car's in neutral. And so I'm just gonna show you what happens if you don't press the clutch and you try to turn the car on. I'm gonna be pressing the brake now. The clutch is away, as you can see, it's on the footrest. Now you try to press start. It doesn't work. Also, guys, make sure when you're learning how to drive stick, you're in like in a closed area. A parking lot is a good point, a good place to learn how to drive stick. There's like no cars, and you might, there might be chances where you're gonna stall the car. Stalling means you don't add enough gas to the car, or you release the clutch too quick and then your car either jerks or it just turns off you don't want the car to turn off so just add gas or just put the clutch all the way in to avoid stalling the car so once you turn the car on the first thing you want to do is like what I said earlier is put the car neutral make sure your e-brakes fully up press your clutch in turn the car on and the reason why I say put it in neutral this is also neutral the way you know it's neutral it swings around like this it's in the middle that's first gear second neutral is right there so the reason why I say you should put it in neutral, because if you put it in first gear and then you release the clutch, your car will jerk. I'm not going to show that because I don't want to like damage my cr clutch, my crotch, my clutch. So yeah, make sure when you put, when you move the car from first gear to neutral, the clutch is all the way in. Make sure that's like that. And then of course, when you, now you're like able to move the car wherever. Alright, so now we're moving and we want to stop because there's a stop sign in front of us, there's people walking. What we do is we hit the clutch all the way in, hit the brakes, and put the car in neutral. And that's how you stop. Alright guys, so since now we're in first gear and my clutch, my foot's all the way in the clutch, in order to put my car in neutral, you have to keep the clutch all the way pushed in and move your car to neutral. Once your car's in neutral, you're able to move your foot off the clutch. Alright, so now we're in neutral, right? If I add gas, my car isn't moving at all because it's not in gear. So neutral is just for being parked or at a stop where you don't want to. You, put, you press the brakes, you put the clutch in, you put it in first gear, and now you find the catching point. So the way to find the catching point is like a quick hit. The RPM starts dropping. Bam, now you're moving. And that's first gear. Reverse on my car is all the way on the left side. So in order to go to reverse in my car, you have to put the clutch in. Now it's like this. You you push it more, and now you push it up to reverse. So in a reverse car, in a manual car, reverse is the same way as first gear. 
you have a catching point, you find the catching point, and now you back up and you add as much gas as you need. So if you want to stop backing up, you put the clutch in, make sure you press the brake as well to stop. So as you guys saw from today's video, stick shift driving is actually pretty easy. It just takes a lot of practice and patience. Yeah. I hope you guys like my video and subscribe. And guys, take it easy.